confirmed subscribers may recall that I made a mobile base for my cheap and portable washer dryer sometime back in 2014. For a long time now, I felt as though the base needed to be higher, mainly to facilitate the action of the waste water hose. The first thing I needed to do was to dismantle the base as it was. But these screws weren't going to budge at all. I tried using my impact driver. I tried tightening the screws before switching to reverse gear. I tried using oil as a lubricant. I tried using heat to warm the hardened steel. I even bought a series of cobalt drill bits to try and break the heads off. But none of this was working for me. Eventually, I resorted to drilling a large hole beside each screw head, which would effectively create a keyhole slot and allow me to take it apart. I still needed access to the bolts so that I could reuse the casters. But the bolts were concealed within layers of birch plywood. I ended up hand sawing most of this material away as these screws were still locked tightly in place. I had decided that nuts were overkill on my first iteration of this trolley. So with this revised design, I would attach the casters using T-nuts. All of the unwanted plywood would be taken to the local tip and recycled, along with any other bits of wood I was hoarding. I decided I would paint these new blocks before adding the T-nuts and before attaching them to the 12mm thick base. A few months later I'm finding this new arrangement works well for me. It is slightly taller, which suits me as a tall person, and also helps the water to drain into a bucket. A bonus of this more lightweight design is that I have a convenient place to store 
a box of detergent tablets. I'm thinking of doing another video where I demonstrate how I use this cheap machine. It won't interest everyone and you won't be obliged to watch it. It's something I've wanted to do for the past four years. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already.